from Messi. Oh, what a goal it is! Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Bola Bola Show podcast. And on this episode, we would like to return, I'm sorry, we would like to welcome back a former guest of ours who we did spoke sometime last August when KL City were having a magnificent run in the Super League. And he is none other than the captain himself, Paulo Jose. Welcome to the Bola Bola Show, Paulo. All right, thanks. Thanks again for having me, guys. Uh, of course, it's all. I mean, even the last time when we talked, it was uh, a memorable conversation. And uh, <laughs> I, but before we go into the questions, I feel that I need to firstly congratulate you because since the last time we spoke, you actually won the Malaysia Cup, and KL City is not having a fantastic run in the AFC Cup. So, all right, thank, thank you very much. All right, then. So, you know, what is what is the secret behind this remarkable run? Uh, it's, a bit, uh, it's a bit hard to say what I think. Uh, I think the, uh, the coaching staff, the management, just uh, they are doing their jobs. Uh, on the end of the day, it's still a job. And, uh, and uh, to do our best in any kind of job we are able to. And I think the boys are achieving it. Uh, uh, it's a lot of things to say about them, but uh, on the end of the day, as long as everyone delivered the best on the pitch, is a great chance for we achieve something again. Huh? Last mm-hmm. year, last year we, we proved it, and this year so far we are doing well, uh, mm-hmm. despite uh, the unstable moments in the Super League. Mm-hmm. But uh, and the, the the tough moments, we always uh, deliver some good job for the team. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, and, and you know at. Let's let's go back to that night, uh, at that night in Bukit Jalil. I mean, what was your feeling when the final whistle was blown and lifting the Malaysia Cup? I mean, t- take us through that moment for you. Look, that uh, it's uh, only one game. Is the, the maybe the only chance uh, some of the players will have to to play this kind of games. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we always talk during the week, coaching, coaching staff, and uh, you know the management, the players. Uh, if you are here, why not uh, just try to get the title? You know, mm-hmm. so everyone just understand it, take the chance. Uh, so in that time, uh, that uh, we in that week, uh, the coaching staff say to us the we as a players, uh, all the management say, to us, look, we are here, it's just one game, you know. In one, in one game, anything can happen. And uh, we know, we understand uh, during the week and uh, in the game day, if you, if you, if we can hold JDT in the first 45 minutes, uh, maybe they will uh, start to get angry to score their first goal. And uh, maybe the space will appear for us. So uh, in the second half, when they, they start to try to push up uh, a bit higher to try to score, there will, was a lot of space for the, you know, for me, for Romel, for Partiban, for, you know, everyone, uh, Zafri. And uh, as we plan, as coach plan, as uh, we all, as a team, as we plan, it happens and uh, we, we, you know, we scored two goals and uh, it was unbelievable. We know how, how tough the game will be because uh, everyone knows JDT is uh, probably one of the best teams in the Southeast Asia. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was, uh, you know, a proud moment, a uh, very, very happy moment that will be a highlight of uh, mm-hmm. all my career. And uh, we just hope to to keep doing it. We, still, we, we Again, we have a chance to play that uh, tough games. Uh, we, we, we need to go to India right now. Mm-hmm. And there's another chance to make the same, uh, to write the same story, to, to keep uh, writing a new story. So... We need to take a chance. That's what we will talk for the boys again. Just take the chance. Uh, we will be a tough, a tough, very tough match. We are playing away. Maybe the, the crowd, uh, the state will be crowded. We, we don't know. We still don't have too many information about the, the India team. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, why not again? Huh? 
why not uh, just uh, deliver the best, try to play hard, and uh, uh, maybe God bless us one more time, and uh, we we give one step further. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and of course, you know, winning the Malaysia Cup gave KL City a chance to take part in this year's AFC Cup. And uh, I mean, how serious was the team taking this particular tournament? And did you expect the team to come this far so far? Uh, to be fair with you, we had some uh, private conversation with Coach Boya mm -hmm. during the vacation when the groups when the group stage uh, come out for us, and uh, when we saw PSA Makassar, when we saw Tampini Rovers, and uh, there one more team that uh, pull out. Mm -hmm. Coach said it was, I know, like a joking, but he said it was we can go through. So just uh, be ready and well prepared that we can go through, mm -hmm. because that is uh, some uh, some advantage for our, our team that uh, Coach Boya already worked in many places in Southeast Asia. So mm -hmm. he knows a lot, uh, you know. He knows a lot about the the domestic leagues. So he knows about uh, Cambodia. He knows about uh, Indonesia. He knows about uh, Singapore. He knows about the. Uh, uh, he knows about in Malaysia, so there's a bit a uh, bit more easy for us to have this understanding from him, you know, because he he already been there uh, working with the teams and uh, he know the players, you know what I mean. Uh, so it's some good points to put in the on the table to understand some part of the su the success of the team, I guess, you know, but. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And, uh, you know, how challenging it has been this year for the team, juggling between the Super League, the FA Cup, the FC Cup. I mean, uh, how, how has it been? I mean, has it been, been very difficult? Or, you know, how? I mean, football never, it, never, it cannot be easy, never. I think uh, mm -hmm. we always need to... Be, you as a player always need to deliver something, you know. You cannot be relaxed. You cannot be in a comfortable zone, you know. You need to always to push yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, on the beginning of the season, it was a bit struggling mm -hmm. uh, because I think there are also many expectations about our team, you know, to do it all, all over again, to be a top two, top three of the league and all this, this, this stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And a football is not like that. You cannot just come here and just say to me, oh, we have a good team and you need to be a top two. The football no work like this. Mm -hmm. Football is day by day, uh, session by session, game by game. By game. So uh, maybe on the beginning of the season, we, we do not understand that, that too fast. Also, there's a, a new players coming and uh, uh, maybe it take a bit longer to the players adapt on the team and uh, then they change the players and all. So it's, it's not that easy, you know, to pick up everything who is coming new and uh, 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 the, the, the guys who we miss, you know, like uh, Daniel Ting, it's uh, not easy to, to, to replace him as a fullback, you know. Uh, he delivered a very nice job last year. Mm -hmm. And this year is not easy for the next one coming and... Uh, just deliver the same job, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, Especially yeah. the uh, uh, coach bring uh, Declan from Europe. Mm -hmm. So it's another culture, it's another weather, it's another kind of football. So it's mm -hmm. not easy to pick up in one month, two months. Mm -hmm. uh, so now I think he is doing well, you know, I, I'm talking I'm talk about Declan, but in overall, mm -hmm. ev everyone understand much better each other uh, on the game days, you know, what coach plans. Mm -hmm. Now we change the system a bit because Jordan Kami also joined the team. Mm -hmm. uh, so he and Romel is trying to understand uh, each other better game by game. I think they already started last game. They, they uh, Both of them scored and uh, they support each other. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's something that, uh, you know, must happen to... To the good for to the good of the team, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And, you know how how um, how easy it is to play alongside Jordan Minta and Roma Morales. I mean, well, what's your fe feeling about them? Uh, look, I just I, I need to try to to, to see the, the 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 best part of them. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. 
I need to go there and try to support them in any way, anyhow, just to make them happy, to make them produce their best for the team. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, uh, this is not uh, something that we do, you know, in two days or three days. It takes some time. Mm-hmm. Uh, because, uh, as I say, we change all the system. Now, uh, it's a bit different to play. The, their movements must be a bit more synchronized. Mm-hmm. And uh, the last, the first two, three games was not there. It was not there uh, completely. Now this last game against uh, PSM Akasar was much better. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think the with a few more games, if uh, they play together again, I think they will getting better and better, and it will be good only, only good for the team. Mm-hmm. But Excellent. so far, so far everything is uh, running well. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are a nice boys. They, they, you know, they want to to help the team. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can see it in the training session, the game days. They want to help. They, they have no complaint about to make the runs, about to drop in the D box to defend in the corners. So that's a good sign that we can see. And uh, I hope they, I hope they keep doing well and uh, keep scoring for us. Uh, that's uh, they are jobs for now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now. Um... When PSM scored twice to make the scoreline three two, what was the feeling among the players at that particular moment? And as the captain of the team, did you have any words of encouragement for the players at that time? That was a bit. Uh, that was a bit crazy to me because I I could believe they scored two goals in ten minutes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we... in ten minutes in four in four minutes they scored in fifty eight. Yeah, sixty two. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Huh? Yes. Yes. And then I just, I just, uh, I just thought to myself, "Oh my gosh, what is happening? Mm-hmm. I can't believe they, they will, uh, they will get back, they will get back on the game, right? You know, right that because we sleep some, you know, we sleep just, you just do not pay attention for two, three minutes. Suddenly we, they, they score two goals. That was a bit crazy to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think everyone understand that we need to cool down, take the chance if we have again, uh, try to. To keep the game in our hands, you know, don't let uh, it slip uh, between our hands. Uh, and I think we, we managed to do that. Uh, after they scored two goals, they have, if I'm not wrong, they have one more, one more shot from uh, outside of the D box, like uh, 20 meters. Mm-hmm. Uh, but thank God, we just uh, score. Uh, we score one more goal, the, the four goal, just to, to, to make sure we are sure they result. Mm-hmm. I don't think they, 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 I don't think they have all this, you know, this powerful to get back the, until the 90 minutes and hold uh, their pressure uh, against us for this, this long and uh, you score two more goals. I, I, I don't believe on that on that time. Mm-hmm. Because we know they play in the, during the week. They have they had play in Indonesia. Then they fly two days, uh, two days before the game to Malaysia. So this mm-hmm. is not it's not easy to to play like this. You know we understand that that they they, they cannot run uh, until the end of the game like a crazy, mm-hmm. like when they score two goals. You know mm-hmm. they just push 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 push. They score twice. Then they okay. We can do it. We can do it. But suddenly they have no no legs anymore to. To keep doing that, mm-hmm. and I think we all understand it also, and uh, we keep doing our job. We just uh, try to to be a bit more hard on the, the, the defensive third, mm-hmm. and uh, when you be hard like that, it's very tough to to play against us. Mm-hmm. And uh, we score two more goals, and I just try to I, I I could say much for for the boys because it was uh, loud on the stadium, and uh, there, there's no much time to to. To talk to the boys and just try to show them, okay, just cool down, guys. Just keep the keep the game here. We keep playing, keep playing, just keep passing, keep passing, and keep the ball. Try to hold the ball, and when the chance comes, we just try to score again. Mm-hmm. There is no secret in football, and you know? we need to score and try to not concede. That's the the law of football, right? mm-hmm. and uh, we managed to do that. And thank God, we scored two more goals. Mm-hmm. And uh, we get this qualify for the next round. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, I want to take you back to the second penalty against PSM because at that point of time, <laughs> you were 
you had a chance to complete a hat trick, but instead you allowed Hadin Azman to take the kick. And we've been here. We heard so there's some compelling sto- uh, background story about this. I mean, care to share with our listeners? <laughs> okay, look, I have no problem with uh, taking pens. So whoever wants to take a pen, I have no no problem with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is something that coach decided before the games. Mm-hmm. Um, normally, normally he say my name, and after me is the striker or Romel or whatever. So I just try to follow what coach say. Oh, I am the I am I am that kind of guy, you know. Mm-hmm. Coach say something, I try to follow what the. Mm-hmm. What he say because he's on the end of the day is our boss is our, our head coach. The mm-hmm. decision come from him. Okay. So I try just to respect it. The, mm-hmm. the, the players also respect it. Mm-hmm. All of them do not to complain. I want to take pen. I want. I know. I this game. I take this game. I take this game. You take. You know. Everyone just try to respect it. Mm-hmm. Because I think that's something that uh, make the teams uh, better and uh, you know success. You know what I mean. When uh, there is a uh, the head coach that everyone follow what he say. That's mm-hmm. what I believe in football. Mm-hmm. And that's why you have a, a head coach to make the decision and uh, everyone must follow. If the decision is not uh, good enough, then the management will will take some action. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, so at that time, uh, the first penalty, uh, uh, I took it. I took it. And I scored. And after uh, the fourth goal, so I... I was a bit lucky. I, in that time, I I, I was thinking uh, I am offside because I, I just appear in front of the goalkeeper alone by myself. You know, I just mm-hmm. take uh, one, one step to the side and score with the right foot. But okay, Hefri do not uh, do not uh, do not disallow the goal, so I just run for the fans. And uh, then we have a chance in the you know, in the end of the game. So the boys come up to me, you know, Jordan, take the ball and come up to me. Paulo, you, know, you just take, bro. Take your hat trick. There's no problem. Then uh, Hadin come up to me also. At first, first of all, come Gigi to come up to me. And mm-hmm. say, Paulo, please, bro, can I take the pens? I want to make a, a go for my, for my, for my baby. Mm, okay, okay. Say, okay, bro, are, are you confident enough to take? Just take. I have no problem, bro. Mm-hmm. He said to me, actually, he said to me, Paulo, if you want to take a, a hat trick for yourself and you know all these things for yourself, you can take, bro. But if he, you allow me to take the pens, I want to score to my baby and you know all these things. Mm-hmm. Then I say, okay, no problem. You just take, bro. I have no problem to give a pens for you. As long as you are both then left to score, just take it. Mm-hmm. And then Hadin come with the same story to me. You know? <laughs> 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 he said the same thing, Paulo, can I take? Then I can also run up to me and say, Paul, with the Hadim want to take because uh, he was, his wife is pregnant and he wants to score for his baby. Then I say, okay, guys, okay, there's no problem. You just can take the penalty. <laughs> now, now you two decide, you know, I am out of this, you know, you two decide who you, who you take the penalty. And, uh, and Gigi and uh, Hadim just talk a bit and uh, Gigi just say to Hadim, okay, bro, you just take no problem. And uh, it was a bit funny as uh, a bit funny story that I have in the, the, this last game, but uh, this is for you guys eh, who is from outside to see. There is no no eye in the team. You know what I mean? Yep, yep. There is no ego. There is nothing about it. It's, the team must win. This is the first first law of our team. You know, mm-hmm. as long the team win, doesn't matter who score, doesn't matter who save behind there. You know, mm-hmm. we need to work as a team to make the team be become good. You know? Uh, so how did he take the penalty and we all celebrate, you know, he take the ball and put in his belly mm-hmm. and uh, gave for uh, his wife and for the baby. The baby will be, will be very proud of the future to see uh, their dad uh, score a goal for them. I did it also when my, my first boy uh, born. This was 2013. I did the same. I scored a goal. I take the mm. ball and I make the same the mm-hmm. same thing for the baby, and uh, I show him until today. Uh, uh, before he born, I have scored, and uh, you know what I mean. This the, the same feeling I have before, and the the boys. I also understand their side, so mm-hmm. they just take it and uh, make sure he score, and we celebrate all together. There's no issue. Okay, what a beautiful story that is. I mean, uh, it reminds yeah. me of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminds me it's of. Uh... Fun at the same time. Huh? 
Yep, I mean it's it's beautiful, funny, but you know I think it will touch a lot of people who are listening to this podcast, especially how united KLCT is as a team. You know, everyone at the at, at the background, and it kind of reminds me of uh, Bebeto scoring in nineteen ninety four World Cup, if I'm not mistaken, uh, whereby he yeah, celebrated. Yeah. Yes, so wow, okay, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, so yeah. something like that, uh, mm-hmm. they, we we make the goals for the, the families. Mm, the, the people who is a bit, bit they're behind us and give you all the support, you know, and believe in your dreams. Mm-hmm. That's the the beautiful thing that we have as as a players is having this background from our families, for from our friends, from our relatives. So you try to, we as a team try try to you know, be this kind of people that believe in, in the players, believe in each other to give you some extra support. Or the boys feeling better and try to deliver their best on the pitch. Mm-hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. So next up, you know, as uh, we know, KLCT will be traveling to Calcutta to take on Mohun Bagan. So as of now, you know, what has been the preparation like and how confident are you that the team can come away with something positive? Uh, well, uh to be fair, this uh, this week after PSM Makassar, we the coaches do not talk anything about uh, uh, Mohan Bagan. Uh, we are just focused on the Sabas game. Uh, we need to be focused on the Sabas game because uh, otherwise you, there is no reason to go there and you know just to put eleven guys in the pitch and uh, you still think about the the, the FC uh, you know, next game. So we still do not talk much about it. We are a focus. Uh, everything this week was about Sabah, about the videos about Sabah, how they play, how the where's their weaknesses, where their strengths. So everything so far is only about Sabah. I think from the after after Sabah's game, we start to focus at two hundred percent, like saying the Mohan Bagan. Mm-hmm. And uh, okay, but we can talk a bit about it. There is no issue. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure, what sure. I see, what I re- what I see, what I read about the about their team, they are quite strong. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are a good team. I I heard they are uh, a lot of supporters on the stadium. The stadium is very big. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and, um, it it might be it might be full of uh, Mohammedan supporters. Mm-hmm. So I think it is. Is good only only for them because they will have some extra extra boost, you know, extra support from the outside of the pitch from the grandstand. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, that's not much information yet about their team. Uh, the coaches, I think, they are they are collected the information, and uh, and the next week they start to talk about it. Uh, they start uh, how they play. We also must go a few days early in, in, to India to see the environment, to see the weather, to see the the pitch, you know. So there, the, uh, in India, coach will talk much more about them and uh, how we how we will plan for face them uh, in Calcutta. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, just one word about. I mean, just curious to get to know more about Coach Boyan. Um, as I understand, you know, when we watch the, the documentary of uh, Kuala Lumpur Sampai Mati, it seems to be a very serious, uh, takes his, I mean, he's a very serious coach. But off the pitch, I mean, off training, what kind of person he is? How, how would you describe his character? Yeah, he's a nice guy, very nice guy. Mm-hmm. Very easy to talk with him. He, he always, he always has some, uh, some nice stories to share with us. You know, he played... 15, 20 years uh, before us, then plus 20 years uh, being as a coach. So he always has some uh, funny stories to share with us. He's a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, very intelligent, you know, something that uh, we always, when we talk, I can talk by myself, you know, always when I, I am with him, I talk uh, something off uh, out of football. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's always something that to, to, to learn with him, some nice stories to her. And uh, he's a nice guy. He and uh, his assistant and Nena, they are very nice guys. Uh, in the pitch and you know, off the pitch, there is always some nice stories to share. And uh, he's a, a good coach, in, you know, on, yeah. the, 
on the team, on a, on the pitch, you know, on the bench. You always fight with the referees. Always <laughs> try to find something. Yeah, oh, it's normal. Huh? You always get the red on the face and the talk with the referees. Mm-hmm. And uh, but out of the pitch, he's a very nice guy. Uh, very nice. Uh, very nice man. Mm-hmm. He has a beautiful family. Also, we we meet uh, uh, their family also some days. Uh, you know, some days out of trainings, just go for dinner and all, all these things. Mm-hmm. So that he is a nice guy. Uh, nobody has a problem with him. Uh, uh, nobody is there to fight with him. No problem with uh, you know uh, players. Uh, behavior you know players behavior of course sometimes the players get angry when no play or no, when the coach uh, take them out from the pitch mm-hmm. but after coach talk to them and take one two words and uh, everything is, is sort out so that's the the good only for the team mm-hmm. when the, the environment is like that with a person like him I don't like uh, Nena it's uh, only good for the team and for the environment for the club especially for the club mm-hmm. wonderful wonderful And uh, any last words from yourself to all the passionate fans of KL City, you know, who have been behind the team, say, I mean, not just since winning the Malaysia Cup, but throughout the whole time. I mean, any last words for them? Uh, for them, it's always say thank you. Uh, I know and all the players know that there's not a lot of fans, there's not a lot of supporters on the stadium. Uh, out of this last game, uh, there was a, a bit crowded. You know, we are quite surprised when we 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 heard the the guy say there is a two thousand uh, attendance on the stand. That was beautiful. Mm-hmm. I think since I'm here for this last last five years, the first time that I saw uh, in Cheraz and Bukijali also there is a lot, but in Cheraz is the first time I saw uh, the stadium with two thousand supporters just for our side. And uh, I hope that them keep it coming. And that was something that is still in plan on the when he took over the team. He said to me, uh, "How can I tell a, a seat that size and uh, uh, have a small club with no supporters and nobody, nobody, you know, nobody care about football in Kuala Lumpur? Uh, if you compare with the other small seats, uh, like a." Uh, Kuching, like uh, Kelanta, Terangan, all of all of them has a, a big crowd on the stadium. So that was some target that Stelly tried to achieve before. And uh, I think step by step, game by game by game, achievement by achievement, the, the, I think the people surrounded uh, the city. We start to understand that something good. Uh, We are doing something good for the city. We are doing something good for the uh, for the country, but especially for the city. Uh, that must be recognized, and uh, the only way that uh, they can recognize us is coming for the stadium and they're supporting us. Uh, but for the dead ones that always there, you know, that this 500, 400 that always there. I think I. <laughs> <laughs> I meet or read all of this, all of the supporters, you know, in the Instagram or after the games. There, I always talk with a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, people. Uh, maybe, maybe some uh, half, fifty percent of this our supporters I already meet in the, on the stage on the Instagram, you know, the social media. Mm-hmm. And uh, we are very thankful for them. Mm-hmm. They are very loyal for the for the team for for us. They always supporting us from behind. And that's something that you need always to say thank you and uh, uh, keep doing better and better to try to bring some more, uh, some more supports for the stadium. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Mm, wonderful, wonderful. And uh, to wrap this up, thank you, Paulo, for taking your time to speak to us. And uh, well, I can assure you that uh, there is one person that I know that would probably be appearing in a lot of KL City home games, and that is my wife. Because she's a big fan of yours, <laughs> particularly you. She's a big fan of you, particularly. So you can count on her to be there to cheer for you and the team as well. So anyway, thank, right. you. Right. <laughs> thank you for taking your time to speak to us on this podcast. All right, guys. All right. Uh, thank you for having me again. And uh, anytime you want, you just uh, you just know my contact. Anytime you need, you just talk to me, and we can have some. Uh, 
conversation again. Sure. And uh, for your wife, for your your wife, you just say some regards to her and say uh, we really appreciate that the people come and uh, try to give some extra boost for us in the stadium. We are very very thankful for them. We'll do. We'll do definitely. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, folks, that's it. We will wrap up this week's episode of the Bola Bola Show. Thank you for listening and goodbye.